From time to time, legends in music cross paths with sports legends, and this is what really happened between Floyd Mayweather and 50 Cent. As with anything that involves Floyd Mayweather, this beef started over money. But this time, it was supposedly Floyd who owed money to 50 Cent. In fact, according to 50 Cent, he's responsible for Mayweather promotions still being afloat considering Floyd was doing time in prison for domestic violence. 50 Cent stated, After he asked me to help him get Mayweather promotion popping off, I paid for the LLC, Lambos, the promotions, got him chains and made him look rich. I said, yo, when am I getting the money for all this? I told you to buy all these things for me. He owes me $2 million. That's why we ain't friends today. If he pays my money, I'll act like nothing happened. How you called Floyd Money Mayweather with no money, brother? I want my money, Floyd. Naturally, Floyd Mayweather felt as though 50 Cent's claims were unfounded and of a jealous nature, and he decided decided to flip the script and put Fiddy on the chopping block instead. Floyd stated, you can't hang with me every day for years, then all of a sudden, if I don't give you half my company, you're like, you're dumb, you're stupid, you can't do this and you can't do that. But if I can't do all these things, why are you hanging around with me? That's all I'm trying to add. If I'm such a person that doesn't know certain things and I'm not that sharp, why would you want to be around me every day? Fiddy Cent tried to show a side of Floyd that fans only assumed until Fiddy brought it to the light, and he explained how Floyd surrounds himself with people who can be bought for company. Anybody who knows Floyd knows he doesn't want to be alone. So in that situation, like I was concerned about him because, like, I went to visit him more than anyone else that he would call a friend would actually visit him. Mm. And it's because I knew that he like this. He'll he'll buy stuff for you to keep you around. His temperament, there's no balance. Like he can do anything. And they still stay there because it's like they yes, man. Yes, man, yeah. Right, yeah. Floyd is known as Floyd Money Mayweather for a reason, and he's had no problem showing it off whenever he gets a chance. In fact, he's gotten to the point where he will flaunt his money as rebuttal to claims like the one 50 Cent put out about him. You know what's crazy? People are always in my business worried about what I'm doing, what Floyd is doing, what Floyd ain't doing, what I do got, what I don't got. Just know, I'm going to stay in my lane, I ain't going to with nobody, and I don't want nobody fucking with me. If I go on vacation, my fault, when I go on vacation for 30 days, I take 30 watches with me. But you know what? You know what? What's crazy is this. If we add 10 more days, I take 10 more watches. But then I say, fuck it. If I want to bring out the one and only... Then I bring out the watch that costs 18 million. Matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? For you mother haters today, I'm gonna go fuck $50,000 because I ain't got shit else to do. Money made all mother day. For a moment, the drama seemed to go away, but jokes started to get thrown around when 50 Cent sent a challenge to Mayweather at the time that all celebrities were issuing the ice bucket challenge to one another. This is a special A-S-L-E-L-S challenge for you, Floyd. If you can read one full page of a Harry Potter book, nigga, I'll give 750000 to whatever charitable organization you want to. Fuck the bucket of ice, man. Floyd tried to respond to the challenge in the most publicly appealing way possible without ruffling any more feathers, and he stated, I just feel like things happen, you know? You live and you learn. Anything that is negative or not true that's said about Floyd Mayweather, it just makes my story that much better. Around this same time, more rappers were starting their own beef with Floyd, and Nelly went so far as to start getting with Floyd's ex, Miss Jackson, and Fitty had no problem putting it out there for the world to see. Fitty stated, Nelly put this up. Floyd Mayweather, damn, the brother really took your lady, champ. It's Miss Jackson's birthday. Shake my head. Floyd took the time to call out a couple members of the hip-hop community during one of his interviews where he decided to throw shade at T.I., Nelly, and of course, Fitty Cent. Naturally, Fitty wasn't too happy about these comments, and he even seemed a little bit confused. Floyd said, T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck Fitty. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? Nelly fucked your first baby mama, Melissa, then took your fucking fiance. Say fuck that nigga. At the same time, both men were going back and forth on the internet, with Floyd saying things like, I respect the shooter, not the one who got shot. And men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. 
Wayne, Drake, Rick Ross, Kanye, please help this boy. On the other side of things, Fiddy took shots at Floyd's career and rivalries as he brought up Manny Pacquiao, and Fiddy stated, I can't hang out with Floyd anymore. I'm tired of running from Manny Pacquiao. While this feud started over money owed, Fiddy seemed to believe that Floyd was running out of money, and he knew that Floyd would need to take another exhibition fight in order to keep his accounts in the positive. Fiddy stated, I think he got to right now because the money's gone. It's fight get the money, spend the money, fight. With the lifestyle, that money's gone, trust me. Now it's like, if you call him, he'll be at your local nightclub because he needs that action right now. After hearing this from 50 Cent, Floyd decided to answer in classic Floyd's form, and he made it a point to prove that he didn't need to fight another day in his life if he didn't want to. Floyd stated, My thing is this. This is the truth. Right now. Today, I could sit in my house and do nothing for the rest of my life and I would still collect money every week until the casket closed. Whether that's true or not, it looked as though 50 Cent was right about Floyd's need to take another payday fight. And even though the two men were at odds with one another, UFC President Dana White actually mentioned that 50 had a lot to do with Floyd making the huge payday fight against Conor McGregor. When the demand is there, I felt the demand for McGregor versus Mayweather. Felt it. I knew it would be big. So we started talking. I I bumped into 50 Cent in New York and he said, Floyd wants to fight your boy. I said, my boy who? He's like the Irish kid. And I'm like, he'll kill him because I'm thinking of MMA. He said, we'll box him. I said, you guys are crazy. He said, he's serious. I'll call him right now. And then that's how it all really got started. And then everywhere I went, it was all anybody asked me about. Then once I started to really feel it, that's when I started to take it seriously and I made an offer. Floyd seemed to have enough of 50 Cent trying to edge his way in though, and he fully lost it on 50 in an Instagram post that warned him to shut his mouth. Floyd stated, That's not a mansion in Connecticut that you're in debt for. That's a dump, a money pit, an oversized trap house. It was dope when Mike Tyson had it in the late 80s, early 90s, but you couldn't afford to maintain it. You're always talking about somebody who is broke. But the last time I checked, it was Curtis Jackson that filed for bankruptcy, not Floyd Mayweather. So quick to gossip like a bitch. Why don't you tell everybody how you got herpes from DJ? Where's your memes on that, huh? Or better yet, post on how your Coca-Cola deal wasn't really 300 million, you fuck liar and tell how that spinning G unit necklace that somebody got robbed for was fake. Just remember, I was with you every day and your driver Bruce was my driver also. I know where all your bones are buried, so be easy Curtis Jackson. And by the way, don't ask to borrow any more money from me. 50 Cent still makes his jokes here and there, but it looks as though he's accepted the fact that he's not going to get the money he's wanting. He's mentioned in interviews that Floyd doesn't want to take responsibility for the fact that that Fiddy invested in his greatest asset, himself. And I'm sitting there going, yo, when you gonna give me the money? Cause you had already invested. Yeah. Right, like when you gonna give me your half of the money back. But I ain't trying to press him cause he just got out of jail. Right. right. So it's like, let him cool his heels before you- Was know. that in the millions? Yeah. Okay. So you sitting there big and I'm like, yo, so when, but see the, the fighters are an asset in themselves. They, they are that talent regardless. Right. Of, you know, so, I'm looking at him going, so there ain't no pressure there, but I'm saying, when is he going to say he wants to, you know, to give me the other half of it? Well, I got to ask you for it. Right. And then when he... Are we talking over two million? It, it's about that. Oh, okay. At that point, it was, you know, invested in. All right. So look, he goes, when he finally does bring up the actual uh, situation, he, uh, he, he, he acted like he didn't know anything. Like, ah, I didn't tell y'all to do that. I didn't tell you to do that. Floyd tried to show things in a different light when he finally addressed the claims of how Mayweather promotions started, though. And he has always seemed as though he wants to just be friends instead of business partners with 50 Cent. 50 Cent, I've always been a, a great friend to him. You know, always, I stayed in my, stayed in my house plenty of times. We travel, uh, we laugh, we have fun. If you choose not to be my friend, friend no more than, so be it. Okay. What do you think went wrong? Uh, actually, a guy, Tommy Summers, who used to be around me, asked me, uh, I guess he went to 50 Cent and asked 50 Cent about getting involved in boxing. You know, I was doing time. I read the newspaper. It said that, um, you know, 
You know, congratulations to, you know, 50 Cent for going to get the boxing license for TMT Promotions. And, and I said, when I got out, I, you know, me and 50 Cent was riding in, in, in my Lamborghini one day. And uh, he said, uh, you know, what about, you know, you know, I got the promotion company yeah. basically trying to remove Al Heyman. It took me a, from 1987 right. to now, you know, to build my brand. Yeah. I said, you know, I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing from G Unit. You know, I don't want nothing. I don't, whatever you got going on, right. let's just remain friends. Earlier in 2023, the two men were seen at game two of the Warriors versus the Kings, but neither of them decided to interact with one another. Another special guest here. Pound for pound, the greatest ever enter a boxing ring, won 15 major championships, retired undefeated. Please welcome Floyd Mayweather. 50 Cents is back. Rooting on our kings. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.